story time. Shall we? I got you! Whoa! I wanted to share a little bit about our last race weekend of the season. Something pretty amazing happened. Against all odds, beyond all expectations, a drag racing miracle happened. And it's a story that needs to be told. Every year there's a Terry Stumpf Memorial Race down in Cedar Falls, Iowa and we almost never miss this race and personally I was waiting for this race all year long. It's always one of my favorite races and luck would have it, our last points race got rained out and rescheduled right on top of the Terry Stumpf Memorial Race this year. It was a huge bummer for me, Whew. all of a sudden they're both on the same weekend and we had to pick one. Ultimately, we decided, you know what, we're not chasing points locally this year. We had already missed a couple other points races, so we weren't just chasing them very seriously. And so we ultimately decided, you know what, let's pack it up, take it down to the Terry Stuff Memorial Race, and see if we can cash in for five grand. car shootout started out with three grand to win the old man did pretty good I mean he he went down there and took her down to the final four cars and then they decided to split the pot it was getting a little dewy on the track so they decided to just split it and uh, so the old man was on a tear right from the get-go this weekend the main event the 5,000 to win was on Saturday and we fought rain all day long it was a drag we got two rounds in me and the old man both were still in the race when finally the rain just came down harder and they had to cancel the 5,000 to win main event that we drove all the way down there for it was a super bummer so we stayed the night and we woke up Sunday morning to another heavy sprinkling drizzling mess on top of the motorhome <laughs> we had just had enough of all the rain we were just getting tired of it so we decided to pack up early and head back home meanwhile back at our home track they were having the last points race of the season and as luck would have it they were running behind schedule. I was texting back and forth with a couple people back home and they were like, hey, yo, you guys might be able to make this race. Hurry up a little bit. And I started talking to the old man, you know what? We might be able to make this last race. Now, this is where the story gets a little bit interesting. I mean, the old man was three rounds, three rounds out of the lead, out of the points championship, he was three rounds out of the lead. And we had just given up on it. I mean, we didn't even go to the last race. We weren't, we weren't even thinking about the points championship. Who cares about it? We decided together that we weren't gonna worry about it this year. It was a different kind of year. The further we rolled down the highway, the more real it became that we could make it to the race in time. The old man dropped the hammer on the motorhome and we rolled in the gate 10 minutes before the final qualifying pass. We literally rolled in the gate, everybody's like, what?
come from? No, everybody thought we were gone for the weekend. Because I didn't think we'd make it the whole time, and then everybody kept texting you back and forth saying they're late, they're late, you can make the last hit. We rolled in the gate, dropped down the trailer, rolled into the staging lanes, and got on the ladder at the last second. To make this story a little bit better, my old man gets laddered with number one in points, first round. He got the job done. Long story short here, I went on to win the event and the old man took it down to three cars, tying the leader for first place in the points championship for this season. It was down to one runoff. You remember how that race went? It was a very tough race. We were both double O on the tree. She was one off and I was on. Check it out, you guys. The old man just won the runoff for first place on Top Dragster this year. I can't even believe it. My camera battery is dead. All the SD cards are full. It's been a crazy week. I'll tell you about it later, but check it out. The old man turned on the last win light. I cannot believe it. Insane day of racing. We're on our way back to the pits just as fast as we can to congratulate him. The old man's number one this year. Despite all odds, skipping all kinds of races, all the things, I can't even believe, I can't even tell you guys how crazy this is that he actually made it happen. He got it done somehow. How is this possible? Against the rail at the stripe, too. It's so fun Dude. listening to uh, turbo car, car because you can hear the whoop, whoop. I never completely lived in hard ever Dad, freaking gosh. Double O2. Oh my gosh. You see my car roll in? I didn't. It was like the trans break. Nice freaking job, Dad. Like, I can't let go early. <laughs> my two favorite girls. <laughs> Way to go. 002, 009. Wow, you guys were both double O. Jeez, nice work, Dad. You made, you earned it. Dad, this morning you, we woke up at a different racetrack, completely had forfeited this whole season points championship, decided at the last minute the race rained out, we came here, and you turned on the last win light in a runoff. How do you feel right now, Dad? I feel like it's a good thing we came home. <laughs> That's gonna wrap this one up, you guys. It's just a little story that I thought needed to be told and needed to be shared. I'm super proud of the old man, and it was just, like I said, an amazing weekend. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. Please consider subscribing if you're at all interested in drag racing, bracket racing content. I post videos each and every week. I really would love to grow the channel, so please consider subscribing. Turn on the bell for notifications so you guys don't miss any videos. I really, really would appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Can you believe what has just happened? <laughs> yeah, you guys are killing it too. How do you feel? How do you, how do you, can you believe this? I'm ready for bed, that's how I feel. Give, give this video a thumbs up, look at this. 37, 38 weeks pregnant. We've been at two racetracks today, put on 300 miles. The old man has been doing a bang up job. I'm still going rounds. And Amanda, oh, love you.